And let's try again. Okay, so this is the third episode in the uh, Trouble in Chinatown series. And uh, there's a lot that's happened uh, with the new champions to get them into this uh, dark alleyway in the back corner of Chinatown. But um, uh, just a quick lead up, there have been disappearances of sacred artifacts all over Chinatown. Uh, really the underground of Chinatown in weird uh, ways that they've happened. So basically what happens is the... Um, there, there are, you know, heists or robberies where um, some, you know, people that have never been seen um, get into the building, move whatever furniture or object or freezer or whatever the case may be. They move it out of the way somehow, and then they get the artifact from beneath the, the, the building that they're in, um, and then they put the thing back that they moved, all the things back or whatever damage done, and if they hurt people in the act or whatever, they've, you know, within 24 hours, typically, they, they restore or save face. So these folks have been, um, have been uh, stealing artifacts that are all located in the underground of Chinatown. Um, but in their course of stealing them, they've, whatever damage they have done, they have restored. On Twitch. Uh, so, Twitch is. The, the, the new champions did a lot of investigating to try to figure out what this all meant, and that, that's really the, the root or the end of how they have determined what's happening. Now, when they figured out that these sacred artifacts were being stolen, they looked for a uh, expert in the field and found an author in um, Tianjin, uh, China, who was able to kind of explain things. Ghost had a midnight trip to, or, you know, an evening trip to, to China and, and learned how to speak Chinese um, and explain things and basically have an understanding that there are these, these uh, clans um, that are associated with the sacred artifacts uh, from their ancestors. And this author, the you know, Ghost and, and Phaser, flew this author back to uh, Millennium City to kind of help advise them and the, the author has basically said that if these sacred artifacts get close to each other, then it will be catastrophic. Um, that, you know, millions of people die, that kind of thing. And he explained to them that the artifacts served a purpose in history, that if a person or, in, or you know, a clan in time of dire need needed help or assistance or whatever, they could call forth the ancestral spirit uh, in, in the artifact, uh, in whatever container they put it in, and it would take the life of the person that called forth the spirit, but um, they would also be imbued with the you know the powers of the of the sacred ancestor. Um, and uh, I think that's um, you know there's a, there's a scene that will follow. So this is a retcon scene that's happened, um, but you know ult ultimately the the new champions are going to confront whomever has been stealing these artifacts and 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 um, you know is bringing them hopefully. Not, but bringing them closer to each other, um, either to to combine them or do something with them to to use their power somehow, and that is where we left off um, with the new champions. But in the middle of all that, the uh, before that happened, that confrontation scene that happens, and that actually happens later this week. Before that confrontation scene happens, um, ten. Uh, um, Why well, can't I remember my own main character's name? Uh, Lao Jin, the author, the expert, um, he gets a weird phone call from a friend of his whom he interviewed for a book that he had written, a recently written, unpublished, that's on these sacred artifacts. And his friend's name is Jasper Liu, and he he calls him at midnight, or after midnight, Jasper calls uh, Lao Jin and is talking rapid fire fast and almost kind of like hokey conversation, you know, really happy, really fast words. And in the middle of the conversation, he breaks and it's silent and he says very cryptically, but also very forced, I am not me. And then he breaks back into his normal conversation, fast, not, excuse me, not normal, his abnormal conversation, fast words spoken well. Um, Lao Jin tries to ask him, what do you mean? What do you mean? And he's not listening, and so he ultimately ends the phone call. And then he tells the new champions this. Hey, I just talked with a source for my book. When I interviewed him weeks ago, he was a very slow talker, 
only spoke when was absolutely necessary, and now he is, you know, rapid fire speaking only happy thoughts, only happy words, and mm. has, you know, tried to tell me that he's not him. He's, you know, something's wrong. So he thinks he's being controlled. Well, final bit. Um, Lao Jin had warned the new champions of a clan, the Su Shin clan, that had been rumored to uh, work in Mystique. You know, they, they were able to be invisible, and they were able to be stealthy, and they had been rumored to be able to control minds. Um, and so mm -hmm. he fears that his friend Jasper has been controlled. That's where uh, we are. The new champions have agreed to try to go rescue Jasper Liu. Uh, from his apartment in Chinatown, and the address uh, brings you all to the end of this alleyway. Um, you all are at the kind of the beginning of the street, uh, standing in front of a, a, a you know a three-floor apartment building with uh, kind of you know stairs outside. And at the end of this street, where the little three pillars are, and of course the little electric field, that's where you could go in to. Uh, to, to you know, go up inside to Jasper's apartment. Um, if you see the one apartment on the ground floor with the lights on, if you go three floors up, that should be where Jasper's, you know, apartment is. But um, you all have come here to to try to rescue Jasper, um, and you see what you see. Of course, it is evening, uh, and um, it's dark outside. It's a steamy, kind of a gross-smelling alleyways. It's not the nicest part of town. There's trash strewn all over, if you all can see. There's, it's just a kind of an unkept. And there's been a lot of chaos in, in Chinatown lately. So, um, in the game tonight, this morning, excuse me, we have six players from the new champions. We have Ghost, uh, XO, played by Game Knight, uh, uh, Daroche's character playing Maximum Resistance, Rampage playing uh, Sand Crab, Dark Maiden, playing Wild Thing, and Jerry playing Little Rocket. Um, there is a new introductory character tonight, actually not new, but um, Game Knight plays character Exo. He has been engaged with the champions once previously, months ago, at a um, at an airport where, um, I think it was his girlfriend that had been on a plane that was crash landing. Yep. and she was flying in and got hijacked. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or something, yeah. So some of the new champions, I think Wild Thing, I think Max was there for that one, so they would know, they would see him, but um, I will ask uh, everybody to, go ahead. Lately, uh, Exo has actually been engaged in Homestead, mm. uh, working with Socrates on some things, so they would have seen him around the base too, he just hasn't been out in the field. Awesome, okay, so that's, there's no need to make introductions, That he, he's, he's known now, so great. Yeah, yeah. Wonderful. Okay, so um, I'm going to um, go down the list and ask everyone just to say a quick word about their character, what they look like, and what they are doing, even if you want to position yourself. Ghost, will you start um, a little bit of introductory? Sure. Uh, Ghost is a pitch black floating brick. Uh, <laughs> uh, looks very much uh, like the profile of a uh, naked female. Um, uh, she does not speak. She... Uh, it does communicate via radio. Uh, she can override radio signals so that she can uh, speak on other speakers and whatnot. But uh, other than that, she's uh, quite quiet. Um, and she will actually be flying ahead of the group and being nosy as to what this uh, electricity is. <laughs> and is uh, probably going to get herself into trouble. <laughs> and she she falls that's down. trouble right there. Right there. <laughs> that's what happens when you go into electric. You shouldn't have been drinking before you came on the job. <laughs> She's still floating sideways, though. <laughs> She's upside there you down. Go. This whole ghost is drunk. Go home, ghost. You're drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, ghost is drunk. I'm not quite sure how to write her. Now, so. Press F. F. Flip. There you go. There we go. Okay. Okay. We'll leave her there for now. So who's this guy, the security guard that's standing there? We all appear right in front of him. I mean, how do we get to Yeah, so place? he's he's a security guard that's just monitoring. Obviously, there's been a lot of heists in the area. Um, I guess you all wouldn't think that the city has brought a security guard. So it's obviously not a, you know, a cop or anything like that. But um, his security guard, really cool looking, too. I don't know if you all think he's cool, but I think he's cool looking. He's, uh, he, is. he is. He's looking around and... 
just trying to watch. He sees you all come up. I, and I guess you all would see him well enough if you wanted to avoid him. You certainly could. Um, but he's there. <clears throat> okay, well, Exo has been... You're, you're not trapped into being seen by him if you don't want to. You would, you would see oh, gotcha. him. Could avoid it. So Exo's been playing with his exoskeleton, um, which taps into quantum energies. And he has a new thing that he is eager to try out as well. So as they approach the apartment area, the whole area, he will he'll say, "Hey guys, check this out!" And then all of a sudden, he vanishes. Mm. And and you hear him say, "Pretty cool, huh?" <laughs> I see him. He is invisible to um, all kinds of stuff. Uh, normal. Sight, uh, spatial awareness. Let's see what else is he invisible to. He he's he vanishes from several things. Spatial so awareness like, can be defined as different sight groups. So what sight group is the spatial awareness? It's just a, I don't know. It's a as far as um, as as far as it's defined in Hero Designer, I just picked uh, several groups. So invisibly to sight, hearing, mental groups, radar, spatial awareness, danger sense, combat sense, detect, and normal smell. When you say sight groups, that's all sight groups. Like <clears throat> Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's it's same spatial awareness. If he's uh, invisible to spatial awareness, it's all sorts of spatial awareness. Is that how it works? <clears throat> yep. Yes. Interesting. Okay. So I guess that means that for Sand Crab, he suddenly vanishes off of his yeah. nanite yep. scanning, and everyone else, he just kind of disappears. Does he still he go off? Does he still make a radio? Off of, uh, ghost radar sense he, as well. He work, The radio still works, though. He made sure that that, that, that <laughs> pierces his quantum thing. Well, so that's how you hear him again? say that. That's how you hear him again? say, pretty cool, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what was your list again? <clears throat> I detect as well. Everything. So he is his heartbeat disappears as well. So I to know. Does he still make noise? Nope. <clears throat> well, no, normal hearing is he's invisible to normal hearing as well. So he's basically he shifted himself in between uh, heartbeats of the universe, so to speak, like string theory. Mm -hmm. He's been playing around with that lately. So he can actually yeah, walk through walls too. Cool. Ah! Huh. He's a real ghost. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, ghost. Somebody's taking over your gig. Yeah. Well, show up here. Yeah. Okay. Um, so he's invisible and is approaching invisible. Um, uh, DeRoche, tell us a little bit about your character and what you uh, what you're looking like and doing as you approach. I decide his invis invisibility is probably a good thing, and I'll make myself invisible as well. Awesome. So you are invisible, rampage. Yes, same crib. Otherwise, I look like a reject from the Blue Man Group in armor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going to turn around and get a good photo of the. I'm going to come from the front now and just see what he looks like. It's awesome. Uh, Sand Crab is also an armored uh, hero with uh, four extra crab-like legs that spawn off of his back. And uh, he is uh, tunneling underneath the scene, uh, would probably be somewhere up near Ghost, and uh, will be using his uh, spatial awareness to keep track of everybody. He'll notice that he loses track of XO. His spatial awareness is uh, 360 rapid, and uh, he's got many levels and offset for range. Uh, so he'll be examining the buildings and looking ahead to see if he can see our target. Or any enemies. Yeah, so you will, um, anybody doing any scanning, I think obviously you seeing that, you would see um, his, a figure that Jasper Lou would be in his room, right? And he is kind of, you know, pacing around in his room, uh, almost frenetic pacing around upstairs. Um, there are people all around, so different rooms have different people in them. And, um, you know, this is just a neighborhood people are living, so... If you don't see anything, um, you know, dangerous, nothing is uh, striking, except at the end of the alleyway, of course, this uh, 
this uh, a ball of electricity that's you know sparkling and coming out of nowhere, which I think you all would see that. Yeah. And what is that? Is it just it's just sitting there by itself? Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of floating midair and um, is um, is uh, you know energy, just boundless energy. That is going to be a problem. Okay, Dark Maiden, tell us a little bit about what you look like and what you're doing. Uh, Dark Maiden. Or a wild thing, sorry. You're, wild you're thing. Toke, you're, uh, yeah, wild thing. Wild thing. She is, um, she's the uh, epitome of somebody who looks like they were raised in the wild. Mm -hmm. Um, excuse me. Um, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. He looks like the epitome of somebody who was raised from in the wild. So when she speaks, outside of the more guttural nature of her tone, it is clear she is well educated. She does have a tendency to speak very forcefully. Um, the, her powers are based on the spirit of nature, animals, and the like. Okay. And she is currently, um, above all of this, on, I'm going to figure there's a roof, even though I can't see it, right about here, in yeah, front of you, the whole, uh, block. You should be able to... You should be able to. I, I left the colliders on the. Uh, how about that? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, that'll do. <laughs> there are colliders. Um, yeah. He notes that she can no longer um, detect EXO, which, uh, given uh, the so a certain aspect to her nature, is very disconcerting to her. But that's not the most important thing for her right now. Um, she immediately starts cataloging all of the heartbeats in the area. Yeah, people in every room, lots of crowded rooms. So people, you know, it's it's nighttime, so most folks are asleep. Um, and but but still, lots of sleeping heartbeats in every room all around. Okay. Yeah, she's she's very much interested in the ones that aren't sleeping. Yeah, it's it's she wants uh, to know how many who's awake, especially <clears throat> excuse me, especially um in uh Jacob's apartment. So Jasper's apartment, it's that it's just Jasper. Jasper is not he's he's Jasper. by himself okay. and he is he's really the only person that's awake at this hour. It's you know, it's after midnight. Um um Lao Jin got a, a after midnight call and and asked for help immediately. So this is late night and everybody's asleep except for Jasper. Little Rocket. Eh. eh oh wait, <clears throat> one more thing. Uh, um, beyond the heartbeat stuff, she's also going to visually and auditorily um, <coughs> uh, peruse the area, basically listening for anybody, any sounds that are beyond what you would normally find in a depressed area at night and note any abnormal sights in the area as well outside of of course the electricity coming out of yeah that. yeah i think that's probably <laughs> the biggest thing and, and no there's not it's pretty down dour night um and the, the only thing that's really out of the ordinary is this sparkling crackling buzzing electricity that's at the end of the alley um, yeah. I would say those of you uh, that we've have... We've never seen anything like that before, by the way? Just question. I don't think... GK, just in the game itself, I don't think anybody would no, have seen... I don't Many think so. of our encounters, yeah. Especially Actually, in this game, that, yeah, no. The, none of these heroes yeah. have ever seen this. Yeah, I don't think so. Okay. Okay. Um, so, for those of you all who have some type of awareness, um, like uh, energy readings and things like that, you all, I think, would notice... Um, as you were coming into the area, um, 
and it's particularly because um, uh, Little Rocket and Max um, and I, I forget who all has been monitoring these readings, right, the, of the artifacts, you all mm -hmm. would have noticed that um, there was almost like a maybe a, like a bubble around the uh, around the the whole of Chinatown, where um, when you pass through it, uh, you read the 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 energy readings you know way more. So there's mm -hmm. something in, something surrounding Chinatown, some bubble. You all would have noticed that um, as you started. You know, honing in on the, the on the energy readings of the artifacts. Okay. Okay. Last person, little rocket. Um, you've got a close up okay. right now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He's um, going to be running along the side of the building, uh, between the floors, so that it's you know he's he's above windows, but or above the first floor, but above windows. Uh, rocket is a uh, uh, he's dressed all in black. Um, uh, and uh, moves very fast, <laughs> uh -huh. and he's going to go down. Why well, I, I was describing, I, I realized I was describe. I forgot to describe, and then what I was doing. But he comes in over the top so that he can avoid the security guards, and he'll come around the corner down here past the electrical into this kind of. Uh, um, uh, section down there okay. and kind of still be there but try to um, having trouble getting uh, him there? Okay, look. No. Yeah, I'm having a little trouble getting him. Up. Hey, up on the roof. No, wait a minute. <laughs> and through the building. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to get him there. <coughs> there you go. Yeah, if you... You're basically okay. right here. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. And he's, he, I mean, he's not going to stop moving. He's going to be go yeah. back and around and see if he can see what's going on the other side. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> as, ghost, as ghost approaches this uh, electricity, she'll, uh, she'll venture. Uh, I do not recognize this phenomena. Uh, does this is this likely to be dangerous? She asks of the group. So looks uh, like lightning. So yes. <laughs> as uh, as you say that, um, these uh, enormous gun drones appear out of the out of the electricity. Oh. And they materialize. They don't fall over. But they do, and they so the hover. Electricity may, the electricity may be a phenomenon related to some sort of a geef or something. Flying Gatling guns. They yeah. hover, um, and they have a shield uh, around them. So they're kind of like um, um, having some type of energy field around them themselves. Couldn't do the okay. particle effect. But uh, they are hovering, and um, they seem to be sentient. So they see ghost in the in the alleyway, and they they passed by just as uh, well. Excuse me. They they appear just as little rocket passed by, and so they are powering up. Uh oh. Yeah. Oops. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Hey, if you didn't do it, I would have. <laughs> Can I do this? Is it going to work? Okay. It does work. Okay, let me get everybody in. I'm going to go straight for the fun here. Okay. All right, so we are in turn one, segment 12. And Little Rocket, you are going to get a first action. What do you do? Already. How high up off the ground are they? As they are. 
that's where they look. They they are, you know, probably as high up as the head of a of a person, maybe a little bit higher. Are they taller than me? <laughs> oh yes. Oh okay. That doesn't mean you um, can't reach them. You can reach. You know, you raise your hand. You reach them. <coughs> True. Um. I'm going to come in. No, nope, not with that. And basically run around this one and try to hit it. Which one? This should be labeled so you would know. Uh, Gundr uh, Gundron one. Gundron number one. Gundron. Gundron. Gunderman. <laughs> okay, so you hit it. Ah. All right. And... We'll do the repeating the singles. Oh, actually, that's the one with strength. And how many? Ha, um, it's auto fire. Okay. Up to three. Do you have to roll to hit? It's three by times how many or? you exceed. What did you roll? Uh, I rolled a ten. He hit a DCV of ten. I hit a T. I uh, hit. Well, I rolled a ten too. <laughs> Okay. Hit DCV 10. Yeah, so it's a DCV of 7. It's so that's... Is it exceed by 2 hits? Yeah. yeah. 2 hits? 2 hits. Okay. 30 and 7, and 31 and 8. Yeah. Okay, so um, you... what? Tell us, a, is this a punch? And is it like a special yes. punch, or is there just... You're just moving fast, hitting things? Yeah, just moving fast, hitting things. Okay, so you can tell that um, these things absorb the, the, the entirety of your punch. Um, you can try to roll knockback, but they're flying. So will that, right. what, does that help the effect or the hurt the effect? I can never Yeah, that it, 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 it adds to it. Okay. Doesn't it? You subtract yeah, one die six. You not back. Yeah, it's harder. But roll your roll your uh, roll your one die of knockback then. It's easier to knock them back, right? Yeah, it's yeah. easier to knock them back. Yeah. Okay. Oh, now I roll a five. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, so that's three um, what hexes of knockback. Am I doing that right? Well, five. Three for the eight and three for the uh, two for the seven. But you take yeah, the worst. You do the you do the biggest and then add one for each. Oh, okay. uh, after so it would be oh, okay. three for the eight and then another one for the seven. So four. Well, it's not too bad. Yeah. So I will move him. I'm gonna do it top down. Okay. So this guy moves here, um, but has remained upright. He's still kind of floating and flying. And you can see that your punches didn't dent it at all. And okay. it is going to... Uh, <laughs> and it falls over drunk. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so little rocket has gone. Sand crab. Alrighty. These things ha haven't shot at us yet, right? They are so powering they have, up. Have, and, have and they made any? Have, they just have powering up. Yet. How? Yeah. How loud are they? Um, do you hear the whirring of their energy? It's um, and you can tell, and you can even see from the kind of the. The inside because I'm underground, so I, I'm I'm just wondering, are they loud enough that I would hear them underground? Oh, uh, probably not, because they're they're whirring, yeah. but they're not they're not ruckus. No. All right. <laughs> Once they okay. start blowing things up, then yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Alrighty. Well, unfortunately, if I try to bury that area in dirt. I might capture our own my own guys, so I can't really do that. Um, I 
I will tunnel up underneath this one right here. I'll be staying in the tunnel. And I'll just reach up with my stretching and grab this one and pull it into the hole. Number one. I'll make okay. it to hit what's, roll. What's your, uh, what's your strength though, Ron? I'm not really interested in trying to make you fight it if your strength is just inordinately more than its. It is 70. Yeah. Okay. So uh, make your make your uh, two attack hit. 70 strength. <laughs> Holy shnikey. How will I... Jeepers! Creepers! Well, that sometimes it's, you know, certain people will add a lot of extra strength to grab maneuvers. And it's somewhat cheap. That's his raw strength. Yeah, I've done that. That's his ability. That's his... He's a brick. Oh. What did you... What did okay. you roll? Uh, d d d or less. Okay, yeah, you're gonna grab it, and so you pull this thing um, underground. He violently yanks it underground, and uh, while it while it, while, he, while he grabs the back of it and pulls it in, the front of it scrapes against the opening of the hole of the of the of the street level, and he does damage against it with that. Okay. Yeah. How much? Uh, so it's. You're pulling it through, so the front turret is basically going to get. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Didn't mean to move you. I think it's basically you'd roll with seventy strength and damage, uh, you know, as yeah. a squeeze if it attack or something. Yeah, yeah, I think that's worth yeah. it. Do it. It's basically a squeeze. Nineteen effect. body pulling wow. it through. Whoa, nice. Good. That might actually do something. Lord, um, you see its. Um, you see its <clears throat> turret snap forward um, and it's still whirring but you don't even know what it's going to look like when it uh, you know when it it may, it may just explode out right it's uh -oh. not it's not connected to the turret anymore <laughs> oops <laughs> all right i'll spend my endurance and that was my action Okay, gun drone number three is going to take aim at the target right in front of it. Well, close to in front of it. Ghost. Let's see if we can actually hit Ghost. Um, um, game night, I have had that same problem when I move my character sheet off the screen. And I can never get it back unless I leave the game and come back. Uh-oh. No, oh, that's a screw up the fight, so I'll just leave it the way it is. Dang. If you need me to roll anything or do anything, just let me know. Okay. Okay, so um, Gun Drone 3 is going to try to hit a 9 or less. Does that hit you, Ghost? It does, yes. Ghost has a DCV of 8. Okay, so it is going to. Um, let me make sure I've got this right. Gun drone. Okay, so it is. Um, you see this uh, this enormous, um, you know, it's almost like an energy explosion. It's a. It is against energy defense. Okay. Uh, and it will ten body thirty stun. It is killing damage. Okay, uh, and explodes all around you. She does take some stun from that. Okay, and how many? What is the knockback on it? Is it um, three? Dice of knockback. Uh, it's a, a, if it's a killing attack, it's three dice. Plus but one dice. Is flying, yeah. so she uh, it would go down to two dice. Minus one die. Okay, so we will do two dice. Oh, that's actually a pretty good roll on two dice. Four, so that is six. Um, yeah, she has uh, got five meters, five meters of knockback. <clears throat> She has uh, five inches of knockback resistance. Okay. That's ten meters. 
how much was that total? So that was 6, 12 minus your 10. So you're only you're going to go back uh, two hexes. Okay, two meters, not hexes. <laughs> what is the difference in this? Since I've made them, wouldn't they? Wouldn't it? How much? Well, is it? oh, I, is is one hex? I don't even see hexes, so I don't know. Yeah, I've just made this. You know, the grid that. So it okay. Should be. Yeah. So two is correct. If it's one one meter per inch or whatever one yeah, unit. Yeah. Yeah. So you should be able just to go. Just, yeah, there you go. Two measurements, two units back. Okay. And then, gun drone two. Let me actually make that. Gun drone two is also, is there anybody else that gun drone two can see? Because it can't see Max and it can't see XO. And it, it would go for those. Yeah, I think There's so. No question. Too. I think so too. Gun so, soak it, ghost. Yeah, it's it, soak she's, it up. She's a brick. She's a brick. She's got to take. If it. they're going to attack anybody, she's you know they should be attacking her. Okay, ghost. Why are they even here? <laughs> oh, twelve or less. Good oh. roll. Oh, that's a hit. <laughs> okay, so um, it hits you with a different uh, type of an attack, and it is. Um, um, you can see it's like a green energy beam that bathes you in its beautiful light. Icky. Green is icky. This is um, attack versus alternative defenses. You have to have a force field. Uh, Ghost does not have a force field, so she takes 21. Okay, 21 stun. And it is just like innervating all around and inside you. It's like seeping into you, that kind of thing. Okay. So you can just take away my character sheet. It's just in the way. So just, oh yeah, because you can't use it, huh? Yeah, so it's just taking up screen real estate. Yeah. I don't want it to take you out of the combat. No, you're still in the combat. Okay. Gun Drone 1 is going to self-destruct. Oh. oh. No. Look what you <laughs> did. <laughs> I made it mad and he broke it. Well, Gun Drone 1 is the one that's been pulled underground and is being held by Sand Crab, right? Yes. Yeah. This could Hot hurt. potato. This could really hurt. Um, is that like an explosion? Maybe I can dive for cover. You probably want to. Yeah, 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 I do. Except you can't, you've already acted this phase. No, I can or abort my... I nope, can you, abort. Can't, you can't abort in the same phase. Oh, yeah, you're phase. right. We're, we're, the same same segment. Segment. We're, we're still in two? No, we're 12. in... Uh, we're still we're in 12. 12. 12. Ah, 12, gotcha. Um, so it blew up. And did twenty seven body. Well, that's Please. a lot of body. You oh. have hero points. Fifty four stun. Beg your pardon? Is that body or stun? Oh, twenty seven body, fifty four stun. What a crap. Yeah. Um, In forty years of playing hero, I've never seen a killing attack that large. Be deployed against a player character. Well, I yeah. will say I just took this from the book for the for the, the write up, so I didn't. That's uh, a lot. I didn't so, make that. Um, the shrapnel from the gun tears through Sandcrab's suit, and you see the shimmering effect of the nanite separating as the shrapnel passes through Rex's body, and blood starts to pour. But then the Sand crab suit reforms over him and is whole again, but Rex is bleeding internally. Uh, he takes seven body. And uh, he is, however, not stunned. Wow. Does he say anything over the radio? Ow! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, and, I, I, and he, he hasn't had a chance to respond yet, but you'll. You what hear, do we see from under the ground? Ah! 
Yeah, yeah, it's an enormous explosion. Just the even the ground is a crater there now. Um, <clears throat> and I wonder. Let me make sure I didn't. So it might even affect ghost and. No, it's not an area. Um, oh, okay. It's explosion. just a no range. Is, is it, yeah. Is it an explosion though? No, I'm just giving that its special effect. It, the power oh, okay. itself is not bought with the explosion advantage. Okay. So it's you know it's not self self contained is the right word, but it's all it all just and maybe even with the way that Sand Crab is holding it, he just takes the brunt of it like a soldier covering a grenade. You know, it's just. Mm. You have eleven hero action points, so I don't want to ruin the opportunity for you to uh, to try to add all of that to to defend uh, something to reduce body damage or whatever if you wanted to. Oh, you can do that. Yep. I don't well, want to kill yeah. your character on your birthday either. So <laughs> he's only down <laughs> seven. His body. character does not die. Only that's half my body. What are you talking about? Yeah. How how many am I allowed to use? You can use as many oh. as you want to. Well, I would recommend seven. I would say, yeah, that would be good. But that, that, you know what? The flavor of the game would be ruined by that. Yeah, um, you can make I'll, it. I'll, you can do whatever you want on it. I just wanted to give you the option of not having your character die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh, he's not even close he's to dying yet. Dead. He's neither stunned nor bleeding to death. So Yeah, he has to be below zero to be bleeding. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can reserve those out. for the next time. I think I'm that gonna, bleeding in Colonel thing was uh, more cinematic than... No, yeah, I don't want to wreck the theme. This... The theme was totally cool. I liked it. Okay. So uh, let's just go with it. That's great. I've got to figure out how to remove Gun Drone 1. I'll just skip him from the battle. These are dangerous. You can just click on it, and I if you go to the scene, you can remove him from the scene. I did, and now it has screwed up the combat. I'm going to end the <laughs> combat and just take us to, because we're only in segment 12. I have oh, removed him okay. from the scene, but I will add everybody. I wonder if I should rejoin while you're doing that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah, yeah. Good. 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 You want to get out and get back in so that I can, yeah. Yep, doing that right now. Anybody having any problems, this is the time to get out and get back in. Well, let me get out and get back in and see if I heal those uh, seven <laughs> body I took. <laughs> <laughs> but you have to re-roll hit your action points, too, so I'm kidding. Nice. I was, was going to say, yeah, let me do that. I'll get seven points. <laughs> no, nope. <laughs> Only for sand grab. That's his big ticket. I don't think it works that way. <laughs> A bloody nose. That was a cool special effect, though, where like the particles separate and the shrapnel comes through and then reforms. That's cool. Yeah, that was. Okay. Game night, we won't have to bring of... anything back in. I just... No. Yeah, it's all still there. Yeah. You didn't crash the table. I just crashed me. All right, so I will choose red again. Maybe I should choose a different color. Oof. Maybe red's not good for me. That's good. We're red. Go for it. And actually, it won't let me give you red. Maybe you do oh. choose a different color. Because he uh, already is red. Already red. Well, let me get, red. Let me that's okay. Red. I'll pick uh, white. Can I pick? No, I can't pick white. No, I'll pick brown because that's right next door. Okay, there you go. I'm brown. No, it's not liking you. It just doesn't like you at all. Hmm, why? Why can't I? I'm gonna. I'm gonna try to. Um, I'm gonna remove your character from the game. I'm gonna add it back. Your sheet. I mean, sorry. It just won't let me put you in. Hmm. I don't understand it. Like your whole. So can you see me as a color? Like, I, I I'm red now again. Is that? Change anything? Wait a minute, didn't he leave? Doesn't he need to redrop his um token? No, I'm using the same JSON no. file that he no. previously had. I wonder if the JSON file isn't working for some reason. It's possible. Because it's not oh, it was working. All. It's saying right. attempting to load a nil value. I'm just going to go here. Hmm. No, I've got the file. I'm gonna. I'm just going to take your JSON. And make a notebook out of it real fast. Okay. Let's see if that helps. Sorry, Sorry guys. No, I, and I want to know what's the. 
Hey, it wouldn't be tabletop if it wasn't something. If it didn't have some glitchy thing going on, right? Mm -hmm. I can roll manually too if it doesn't work, so it's fine. Try to get you to red. See, it's it's not letting me after a combat has happened add new add new uh, players to combat. That's, That's weird because it was actually intended to be able to do that. Let me see. Oh, I thought you were going to close it out and start all over since we were still in, we just started in twelve. So. I did. Um, I'm just saying it's not allowing me to assign new people. I can bring people into the scene, but I can't assign them to colors. Hmm. That's weird. I wonder if I can assign XO to some other person's color. Do you mind if I try that? No, go ahead. That's fine. Yeah, sure. Okay, XO. No, I can't assign it to any other color. Could you save the table in all locations and then restart it? Yeah. How about that? And you're in the scene selector, not the combat selector, right? I'm in the scene selector. Okay. I don't mind reloading the table. I mean, I just... Is everybody cool with save that? I'd say reload the table. Okay, I will game overwrite. Right. Okay, everybody, hold on to your backsides. <laughs> Where were we at in the combat? It was um, Wild Thing's turn, I think. It was my turn, yeah. Okay. Okay. Should be trying to reload. Yeah, it's doing something. My, uh, my window says loading complete. But it's not complete. Mine says suck is at zero percent. Yeah, it's trying to load the mod and do all the old mm -hmm. fun stuff. Okay. My dog is a attention hog this morning. <laughs> Getting feisty. You want a treat? My dog is very particular. She won't go outside. Shut up if I give you that. She won't go outside and go to the bathroom unless I go and tell her. You need to go to the bathroom. Oh, yeah, I do. You're right. And then she'll go. Disconnect from server. And the whole thing disconnected. Yeah, I think it's because we're loading a big everything with a bunch of players at the table. Once I get it reloaded, then everyone can join me okay. again. Yeah, I kicked everyone out. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> I'll tell you all once the uh, once the table is um, okay. eighty percent. Mm. Your system loaded. Okay, everybody should be able to, to get back out again. Mm. I have a kitty, not a dog. Can't quite imagine myself walking a dog every day. Kitty is very independent. Kitty walks himself. Yeah, I have a dog that likes to hide under a pillow or under our covers, and a bird that gets very, very loud. Yes, My kitty brought back a, a rat for the first time yesterday. Very unusual. Ooh, your kitty. I was gonna say your kitty really loves you. Then, if it brought you a rat, uh, he usually brings me mice and small birds. But uh, we we don't usually get rats in this residential neighborhood I'm in. But he managed to find one, first time. He single-handedly keeps this uh, entire neighborhood clean. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Good kitty. Yeah, yeah. He'd make yeah. a great barn cat, but. Uh, He's very content to live with me. Changing that. 
Okay, I gave you your character back. Thank you. That's what you know. So what's weird is when you give me this character, the um, perception, computer programming, and electronics, like the skill list, is already expanded, but it's not right. Now you have to click. It, it's just a graphics thing. You just click on skill roles, and it brings it back up properly. It doesn't though. That does, always does oh, for me. Wait, it, it just did now. Okay. I had to click it a couple of times. Oof. Yeah. All right. It's cool. Okay. I'm going to bring everybody. Let's see if my dice rolls. Woohoo. I rolled to hit. Nice. All right. Okay. I'm going. I'm working. To I'm happy. Body back in. Yep. the combat. I'm joining. I'm joining now. Relink. <clears throat> Health. Putting my hero points in custom three. Oh, that's what you can put in? Well, yeah. certainly to track things in the game, you, you can. Yeah. Hmm. That makes sense. Error in script, error in script. Get bunches of errors in script. Uh oh. I don't see him though. I'm also trying to bring find oh uh, sand crabs upside down. That's why I don't. Uh, I don't. Yeah. I don't see his his. Um, oh yeah, I'm in the wrong state. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Oh, come I again. fixed you. Hmm. Thanks. I was in the neighborhood. I should probably put that in the GM notes in every state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I did. Okay, and we are. Nope, now I can't give Sand Crab the yellow. I can't give Sand Crab the color. Goodness. Well, mine works, that's all I care about. <laughs> sand Crab can go pound sand. Sand Crab, are you, are you familiar enough with your character to make your rolls instead of uh, me having to reload the table oh, yeah. again? Yeah, no problem. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, we will get back into this. Gun drone number X2. Let me make my camera saves so I can get back and forth fast. I did that too. Hmm? Always. We'll go to combat. We'll click to start little rockets. Sand crab. Player phase. Wild okay. thing. Wild thing, it's yeah. your time. It is. If I may suggest, uh, you've probably, uh, your character would know by now that nothing is more effective against robots uh, in your arsenal than your claws. My claws, yeah. I know. <laughs> so, um, the, yeah, yeah, so we are in segment 12. Okay. I am going to do a. Menu Valde Base. Uh, uh, what's it called? Move by. Okay. Attack. Boy, everyone is encroaching on ghost space today. I oh, know. That's fine with ghost. Ghost is not jealous about these things. It's like your signature move. <laughs> 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 and ghost, you. And it's going to be on number. Going to be on tool, and I believe. Uh, this ghost, is... you took a lot of stun too, just then, right? Twenty and five. Uh, I think a total of twenty-four. Okay. Okay. Um, I move at uh sixty. Yeah. And, and you should be able to it, get, yeah. Okay, it's 24 away from me, according to the distance thingy. I think it's even less than that. Uh, oh, I that's, what the, that's what the thing says. Just make sure everybody's 24. units are on grid still. 
How does yeah, that work great. on a move by with a killing attack? I know your strength is by half. Is the is the killing attack by half also? Um, I think you're by half damage classes. Right. Okay. So you take the you take the killing attack, make it by half, and then you add in the damage classes of the movement. Right. That sounds about right. So yeah, both of the guns are according meters. to according to the character sheet. Both of the guns are twenty four. Oh, um, you mean 20? Oh, okay. I'm drawing a line directly to them, and they're 18. 18.7 yeah. and 18.2. Close enough. Yeah. The same. Yeah. Okay, so the oh, distance the movement measure would exceed on the character sheet is off, I guess. It may be still counting not by grid, right? Oh. I don't know how that's perfect. Yeah, it's 18 meters know. away, then. It makes perfect sense yeah. to me. Yeah, I don't know how to change the distance measuring on the sheet. No, you could put it in manually. You don't okay. have to calculate it. Ah. Okay, so you are doing a move through. Yeah. yeah. On. Ah. Remember, they uh, in the very beginning, I mentioned that they have not like a move a through, a move by. Okay, they have a. Uh, oh, energy, say again? They have an energy field. Uh, Force field. Uh, all around them. Oh. Uh, they do? Yeah, when I first introed yeah. it, I was talking yep. about the. Right, 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 right. Yeah, I see it now. It popped up before. Yeah. Uh, uh, that could just be a defensive force field, or it could be a damage shield. You never know. But. Uh, this is true. I guess I'll find out. I don't think it was a damage shield because I didn't take any damage when I hit it. Or the GM. I physically or the, hit it. Or the GM, or the okay, GM so forgot. Or the GM forgot. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Sandcrab so grabbed it and went underground and it blew up on him, so just be careful. Right. Well, I'm moving by. That's, that's why I'm not, you know, I'm not okay. sticking. I'm not staying there. Uh, so is it move by or move through that I have to do? I didn't hear you. Well, oh, you didn't move. Move I said, through. is it move by or move through? Uh, do you want to keep just... going? Do you want to clothesline him or, or body slam, you know, tackle him? I want, then it's a uh, move by. Yeah, I'm close. Okay. Yeah. So you need to plot your path uh, that you're going to take because you're going to complete that movement anyway, yeah. which can stop at that. You know, you can actually plot your movement that ends where they begin, right? Or you can keep going. Keep you, need going. To plot, you need to plot well, your movement. Definitely keep go, I'm definitely keep going. Okay, so you need uh, to say where you're going to go, and then you roll the hit on the move by. Yeah. I'm going to end up here. Where is the here? I'm sorry, I'm just moving your character there. In the, in the garbage can? You're going in the... Oh, on like, top of it. Okay. <clears throat> well, the, on the other side yeah. of the fence. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So you go ahead and move your character there, because that'll you're gonna do that no matter what, even if you miss, right? Yeah. I think you should be able to. Yeah. You could probably be at. If you're flying, so probably full velocity ah! in those 18 meters. Yeah, I can help yeah. you. That's fine. Yeah. Okay. So. Down. So you have mods to your. Okay, so... it's, it's, slope, see, it's a slope, and so you're you're always going to fall over on that thing. Yeah, yeah. going to lock it. Yeah, yeah. So just assume that I'm yeah, just assume I'm, to, I'm on top of that thing. Your minus two OCV, and then your damage will be strength divided by two plus. So in other words, your damage classes divided by two, whatever you're if you're using your killing attack. So you. Cut that in half and then add damage classes of your velocity divided by 10. What's your velocity? Well, what's your total movement uh, with 60? Uh, your... <laughs> okay. so, so that's six damage classes. Okay. Now, how much? What's the damage of your car normally? First, with your the first, let's see if I actually hit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> right. Fair enough. Right. Fair so, enough. Um, so it's a minus two to my attack? Yes. Okay. Do you have if you click move by, it will do it for you. It will? Okay. Yeah. 
if you click the move by maneuver, it'll roll that for you. But remember, if you have any levels that you can use in that sort of an attack, you should add those levels to the attack. Yeah, and the white and box it, to the right. Yeah, I did. Okay. okay. Roll the bones. DCV 10. I hit TCV, DCV 10. Okay. Yeah, you hit it. Okay. All, right. All right. Now we so, can now we can work out the <laughs> the uh, other stuff. So the your damage. Well, how much is the normal damage right now that you do? I mean, the actual damage of your attack. Your claws uh, is what forty six. The actual damage of my attack. I think it's more than that. I got It's only forty six. All right. So is that's that twelve strength? damage classes? Say again. Is that is one? that with strength? Yeah. Um. I guess. I seem to remember you rolling five and a half d6 last time I saw you roll claws. Well, that uh, may be because you did a move by as well. So, at plus six it, damage okay. classes to your, let's see, you have to cut it in half first, right? So twelve. So that's six damage classes plus six. So it's it's a it's a wash actually. Just roll forty six. <laughs> <laughs> you you wash on the, but you're going to take a third of the damage. So you're going to take what? 24. It's a third of 48. I don't know. Get your own calculator. I'm not doing math. I don't want to do math. Third of 48 is 16. Okay, so you, when you slice through it, um, you want to roll, well, first of all, roll the roll the knockback, too. It's flying, and you don't oh, kill it. Yeah. So it's uh, just that, that's, two dice. Right? Yeah, okay. Knockback is how much? Two dice yeah. should be good for knockback, right? Because right. it's yeah, flying. And that kind right. of cancels out, right? Mm -hmm. Um, it rolled three dice. I don't know. I have two, but it rolled three. Oh, it did uh, a killing. That's why, because it's still set for killing. Oh, so ignore the three then, and so take so the... So the body's the, nine. That's nine. Okay, so off of that, would that would be seven... Seven meters. Seven, 14 meters. So it is going to go back pretty far. Let me get above it. And it was two that you knock it into. Is she gonna knock it in the building? It is gonna knock it into the building. Man. Um, hey, uh, in, um, into the uh, corner right here. Will you make a maybe a dex roll? Okay. Mm, doo -doo -doo -doo. Where'd it go? Oh, the primary skills. She's gonna knock a flying gun right into your face. <laughs> Okay, no, you are moving so fast, you are able to um, kind of touch it, and it moves off to you. <laughs> what is the what is the what is the special effect of that anyway? Okay, so it hits the building and um, is kind of spinning around. Your claws would have like sliced through three of the little turret things. Um, it's sparking and flashing and and. Um, but it's still worrying. So was there a damage shield? Uh, yes, there was. Thank you for bringing that up. She'll, okay, I appreciate she'll it. My pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Somebody Tara. smack him. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just a second. Well, actually, depending on where uh, XO was standing, he might have gotten hit by... No, that was, that was why I did the whole dex roll. It did not hit you. And you did not touch it to get it out of the way, because if you did, you would have... Uh... Okay, this is probably the best damage shield roll you could get. And no stun multiplier, so nine body, nine stun. It does um, electric, you know, it sends electric current through you, um, wild thing, but I don't think that's going to damage you, so... No. Yeah, and it, you know, you know, bashes into the wall, bricks are falling out of the, you know, wall, but it didn't really hurt. Um, and I guess hitting the wall with that... Um, I'm not going to force the roll just because I don't think it's going to do enough damage to it um, through its defenses. Enough body damage is really what I'm getting at. So, uh, Wild Thing, you're on that dumpster. You've sliced through it. Exo's turn. Woohoo! Exo gets to move. Yay! What's Exo going to do? He's invisible at the moment, which is safe, but he's not here to be safe. <laughs> All right, so he... Um, He's going to ramp up his, 
Let's see. He has a quantum uh, disruptor. Hey, now this is armor piercing. That might help. Oh yeah. Let's see. So I'm gonna roll. Uh, he's he's actually no, that's not ranged. He's gonna use his quantum reach, so he can just use it ranged. It's a normal eleven d six attack. And area effect. That's no. This is a yeah. That's what he's gonna do. So he's just going to reach out as he taps into uh, this quantum dimension of of powers, and he's going to. If you could see him, he makes a few boxing moves. He like dodges back and forth, and then he hits with a uh, like a left jab, and and across time and space, the left jab reaches all the way across the alley to try to jab at the uh, at Gun Drone Three. <laughs> So is he actually so, touching it, or is this just the... No, okay. he's not. He's a cry. It's, it's actually using the quantum fields to send a, uh, a particle wave uh, that is, matches his punch. And mm. so he'll only hit DCB2. Yeah, and I even think with it not knowing, even, you know, because it's an invisible target... Even if half DCB, it's not going to... Yeah, that's like it's not going to matter. So did oh, anybody I didn't add any even levels. know that that happened? Hold on. <laughs> It'll let DCB six because I have four levels with my quantum stuff. I didn't calculate that in. Oh yeah, so then it will hit. <clears throat> it will hit. Oh sweet! All right, very good. So I was gonna say, this is just an eleven die blast. You do all of that. <laughs> After all that description, and it just misses. Yeah, and there I go. Yeah, Rolling yeah. three ones, three twos. Yeah. Nice. All right, so it's going to do twenty nine stun nine body, which probably doesn't do jack to it. Yeah, but it, let's roll. It's not piercing, isn't it? No, is this is a regular one because he wanted oh, okay. to stay range. The armor piercing one's uh, uh, hand to hand. Okay. So I am going to roll uh, one die for knockback because it's flying. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to be knockback. Oh, that's what I should have done. Is like the double knockback one. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, all right. So I rolled a four, and so that's um, five ten meters of knockback. Okay. He is. Um he it is um, hovering over this bench. Let's see if I can make it not fall. It didn't hit the wall. Yeah, I did tend to it, and it, the, in that little spot, it's not gonna, it's not gonna hit. Okay, all right, dang it. But it's flying above this bench. Did it? Is it? Does that look like it's still flying, or is it angled down? Or yeah, it's, angled it's down fine. A bit. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, so yeah. it's flying above that bench. And it did. It absorbed entirely the 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 the, the quantum punch, uh, and it mm -hmm. did not have any brokenness. Uh, you didn't hear any cracks yeah, or anything no, like that. Yeah. I guess I kind of expected that. Okay, Max. Okay. Well, I'm going to make a half move to there and fall oh. over because you know I'm drunk. <laughs> <laughs> that little uh, kind of sound way. too much. Yeah, I'm setting down some rules. Okay. No drinking before a mission. <laughs> it was late. And <laughs> let me take a look here real quick. I'm going to start winding up. So I'm going to start drawing. Everybody around me is going to start feeling the uh, electrical charge in the air even more so than the little electrical thing there. Okay, so I always confirm this will land the end of the next segment, even if it's not end a turn. Of, yeah. Yeah, end of segment one. Okay, cool. All right, I will um, check your face. Um, everyone feels that. What do they feel? Energy uh, moving around? Yeah, it... Because it's about to be a big lightning attack. So, yeah, they feel the charge in the air. Their, their hair and the back of their arms start standing up. Very Whoa. cool. Okay, Ghost. Did you get stunned um, at all by all that stun last time or no? No. She's, she's, a brick. she's got a brick level constitution. Okay, cool. Uh, she is going to uh, do a, uh, uh, a charge attack 
um, on Gun Drone 2, which has uh, taken some damage. Mm -hmm. She flies up. She's going to fly straight down so that any knockback will not knock it further into the wall. It'll knock it into the ground. Okay. And then she will uh, uh, find her. She will end her movement between um, low rocket and the guns. Okay. So that they preferably choose her for a target, not low rocket. So you're only hitting one target. Uh, yes, but uh, it's a slightly stronger attack than a move by. Okay. And it doesn't leave her at half DCD. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, will you make your attack roll, please? Okay. What segment is this? Still 12. I hit a DCD of 13. Yeah, yeah, it would have. And that or... uh, drone would have hit the wall, that kind of thing. So, so cool. These are awesome images. I love it. Ooh! 17 I like that. Okay, yeah. Um, you, uh, and it, you know, bashes down into the ground, and it was already kind of the turrets were cut in half. It just splinters uh, into the ground. It's this second gun oh, run is now destroyed, utterly destroyed. All right. So gun drone three is now closer to me than to wild things. So that should make me the target. Okay. What was your target, uh, by the way, um, Max? The one that was kind of wobbly there over the bench. Okay. This one. Love the one that I took a pot punch at. Yeah, that's a great shot. Okay. Um, it, this is the end of segment 12. The post segment 12. Um, everyone gets their recoveries. Uh, oh. at, that, um, at the end of that segment... You all hear something um, land in the same... No. What? No. No. Just say no. There will be no landing. No! That's a no. <laughs> he said it's no. He, he no. materializes in, um, and you all would hear um, um, downloading instructions from Destroyer. Instructions received. No. Okay, grief. <laughs> Did he say destroyer? Oh, yes. that's a destroyed. Okay. I think the I heroes would have seen destroyed. these. Yeah, they would be in the news. They would be. They're like very tough enforcers. I told you, destroyer was the one trying to get all this power. <laughs> I mean, that might still be wrong, but, you know. <laughs> okay. Little Rocket. Uh, actually, on the end of segment one, that uh, that uh, Haymaker is going to land on three. So, do you want to roll your, uh, your attack? Okay. Your turn? Huh? Oh. Yeah. He got it. Okay. And... Uh, well, 17 then, more buddy. Hmm. Yeah, so you can see it, um, you know, breaking and parts of it are falling apart, but it's still whirring with energy. 17 minus 9, that is what? Uh, 8. 8. 16, it's going to hit back against the wall. Um, that actually is probably going to do some damage. So it's got, what, 2 before it's going to hit the wall. So what is that? 14. Yeah. Uh, it, take, it takes the whole knockback damage regardless of how far it actually goes. In oh, okay. Yeah, so it doesn't Unless do it's got... And it doesn't do any more damage to it. So it hits the wall. Um, and... Uh, ooh, did I just lose it? I shouldn't have moved it. It has hit the wall. Where is it? We're just going to leave it right where it was. It's right there. It? Perfect. Lock it. Yeah. Uh, so it's hit the wall. Um, and it's, um, you know, the equivalent of, well, I know it's always flying, so I don't know that it's going to, uh, you know, I still think it gets the DCV benefit because it, or the negative because it's disoriented, but it is still flying. Um, 
and it is still, I need to see how much damage you did to it. And then breathe. Okay, cool. It accidentally fires at destroyed. <laughs> and it's disorientation. Okay, um, you uh, little rocket, and I'll give everybody just an opportunity to see this destroyed. It looks like it has, um, you know, phasing energy all around it. Um, it looks like it is, uh, you know, pure energy forming this, this, you know, robot itself. So, you know, obviously what you all see looks very corporeal, but it also has kind of phasing energy look to it. Mm. Little Rocket, what do you do? Um, is it fully in or does it look like it's... Yeah, it's still appeared. coming in. Yeah, it's fully appeared. It just it just has kind of a shimmering look to it. <coughs> okay. Um, he's going to try to uh, remove uh, an external uh, weapon by disassembling it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's got an 18d6 uh, dispel. Any single tech or any technological power, one at a time. So basically, he runs around going dick, 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 pulling parts off. <laughs> cool. Okay. And I would hit a six. Okay, so you, you hit him, um, but okay. as you are trying to make your your removal of the objects, you are... Zot. What's that? Zot. <laughs> well, actually, no. Um, you are passing through him. So okay, so he to, is... You're trying to touch him, but your hands are going through him. Okay, so he's D solid. Or out of phase. I didn't realize that. Yeah, mm. so he is. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't know how to answer the question, um, but you can very clearly tell you're not able to grasp him like that. Yeah, your hands are going through him. It's, it's like putting your hands through uh, the Matrix <coughs> energy, you know? Right. Same crap. Okay. Hmm. Well, okay, that, he's here, but not. Seeing that uh, his hands pass through him, um, <clears throat> Sankro will delay while he tries to figure out, or well, while he waits for it to become solid so that it can, I figured it has to attack us, so I can't attack it until it phases in fully, so I'll delay. Okay. I don't know why it didn't. Oh, it didn't go on. It did. It held. It it held. Okay. Um, wild thing. It's your turn. Oh, okay. That was quick. Mm -hmm. Um. I was trying to understand why the destroy didn't go, but it doesn't go on segment two. That's why. Okay. Um. I think uh, she can barely note that uh, the destroyed has popped in. No, she can see it. Okay. Um, but the gun is still active, isn't it? It is. Okay. So it might make a really good weapon for sand crab. <laughs> I don't know what appetite sand crab has for those right now. Um, she forms in um, that aura that she used. I forgot to do this before. That aura that builds around her naturally engulfs her and it she takes on the form of a or the aura the uh, uh, highlights of a giant um, porcupine. She turns or it looks like she turns and flicks her tail, or it flicks his tail, and spikes come out, 
and slash through the gun. Turns out I didn't read, I, and all this time, every time I've read my character sheet, I keep missing the fact that my uh, killing attack is ranged. <laughs> that one. Yeah, that's, that's I feel like a utter dope. <laughs> Let's see if you hit. So it's uh, so okay, range so killing attack with zero range. Double check that. I thought it had zero range. Uh, Maybe, let me uh, look at it again. I'm gonna look at it again. I'll open up the editing. See. Uh. Oh, okay. It says, is that no range? It may mean that you have to be on him, like porcupine. <laughs> yeah, and so it's still like a hand-to-hand -hand attack, but it's because it's spiritual, you can't add your strength to it. That's really probably what that means. Why would she have both? That would give her two hand-to-hand -hand killing attacks, one with claws and one with porcupine quills. That's, that's that her claws. I think it's talking That's about my claws. I was reading, I read it as oh. range, but I don't know, I didn't know what no range means, so. Yeah. Okay. I missed the it's whole just, range part of it, but this is basically what I'm saying, but yeah. I'm confused an, by the range. It's a no range, no range RKA. It's a, it's a no range RKA, which just means that you can't add strength to it. It's not a hand to hand killing attack. Oh, okay. So gotcha. hand to hand would allow you to add your strength to it because it's like a weapon that you're putting your strength behind. In this case, See. it's spiritual, so you are doing these Okay, then claws. that's another... Okay, then I'm going to do another move by? That oh. seems to be a wash for you. I, I, I wouldn't waste time on it. I would just... And if, if, if it's unless you want to be somewhere else when you're done, that's about it. Yeah, you do a move I want to be somewhere time? else. Unlike the rest of you, she doesn't have a lot in the way of uh, damage resistance, per se. I would uh, say... You're one of the most tanky characters in our crew. I am? Oh, yes, okay. you are. <laughs> yes. I I'm just the old days. A whole lot of damage protection. Remember okay. the old days when Wild Thing was a, a paper doll? Anyone remember that? <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> and then we rewrote her, and now it's like, yeah. Okay, then. Anyway, why don't I do this? Um, it's, okay, then why don't I do a... Uh, What's the difference between what does a move through do again? That's like a like we're tackling him almost. You're running right into him. It's a body body check as opposed. Body so check. you're going to take half the damage as opposed to a third of the damage. So clotheslining okay. is I'm going to hit you as I go by, and I'm going to take gotcha. a third of that the damage. Other one is, yeah. Yeah. The charge. So that. that that's why I'm saying it doesn't affect your damage level very much. One of the reasons to do those kind of things is use your velocity to increase your damage. But That's a move what by, but a move by, it does, it's not going to though. The math is this: you're going to uh, lose six damage classes, so half gotcha. your attack, right. uh, because it's a move by. But then right. you're going to get six damage classes back from the velocity. So it's oh, it's a it cancel each other a, out. Okay, I but see. Can she even saying. use her range killing attack as a sure. move by? I I don't see why not because it's just like any other attack. It's like a no range attack, so you, you would have energy to energy blast with a range with a with a move by. It, it's not a it's not a blast. Basically, it's it is a melee attack. Yes, it's a hand to hand attack, right. but it's not defined as as a hand to hand attack because it's. Right there. And the so, yeah. move and the and the move through does your your full damage plus your uh, velocity added. Yeah, we're going to go through a move through. Basically, I'm going to do a body check to against the whirring gun. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't have a body, but it'll accept your check. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um. So negatives. Yeah, it's got. It's, it's uh, close. Uh, yeah, it. it's within. It's well within my uh, range of movement. So, a good special effect, wild thing, is that you bring in the spirit of the rhino. That's and what I was you thinking. Charge Dude. it with its big horn. <laughs> Dude, that's exactly what I was going to do. And you already okay. have your defense probably set to rhino too, don't you? Yes. Yeah, it's always the uh, my start off. I go to at the start of every combat is Rhino. Uh, so negative minuses to hit. Not from six out. 
sorry, what? Yeah, no, not from how far you are. You're not far enough. It's at six. I don't think you have a penalty. So it's it would be minus okay. six OCV because of your velocity, right? Oh, you're you actually you. running through it. Sorry. It's yeah, not she wants range. to do a move through. Yeah, okay. So yeah, that's velocity through. divided by 10, which is 6. So minus 6 OCV. So it's minus 6 OCV minus. Oh, I might not hit, guys. <laughs> Rampage didn't want to see it. He didn't yeah. want to see it at all. He he put up a blindfold because he knows what's going to happen. Yeah. If these, are, if these are going to be regular attacks for you, you should be thinking about uh, negative penalty skill levels. Mm. Um, okay. I will for the future, though. Yeah. Are you making it uh, Yeah, I'm making it now. Yeah, I um, miss. Yeah. Even with his half... DCV. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, if I take, um, what, what do I need? I need six. Points. Yeah. Six yeah. of my action points will let me hit? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep. You would need to take three of them to get to, oh, him, three. to hit him. Cool. <coughs> and that's what I will do. Minus three. Okay. So you hit him. You hit it. You make your, your damage roll. Okay. Now... Do I get I get bonus to the damage you choose? Yeah, because your velocity, your movement. Yep. yep. <clears throat> so move through is velocity divided by six da damage classes. So that would be ten damage classes. So that's another three, three plus uh, one. killing plus one. So that would be what four, five, six, seven killing. Seven, seven plus one. So seventy six plus one. Okay. So you'll have to either do that in the die. I'm going to have maker. to use the what you might call it, the roller. Yeah. Yeah, the roll maker. Just make sure it's killing yeah. checked. Yeah. Oh, well, you, you don't have to if you don't want to. You know, that's cool. Bling. Does the plus uh, one you think go into dice modifier? Okay. I think so. Yes. So. Yes. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so you would pay one did in the dice work? modifier. Oh, one in the dice. Uh, wait. Ah, oh, here it is. How do we do this? Like that. That That's worked. There it like. goes. Got it. You did seven dice six plus one. No, that was my me rolling. I was just playing. Oh, sorry. Oh, there's oh, even. Better. There's her roll. Okay. Uh, Mine was way better. Why is there a <laughs> her, her stun modifier yeah. was off. Hmm. It's what? still enough to destroy the thing. Um, so you hit it, it flies back, and I'm just going to say, it, just for game effect, that it's going to fly back into this wall over here. And uh, it's going to, you know, just explode into the, the trash. Why can't I get the thing over there that's in the wall? Oh. Um, those The trash bursts into flames or something, but it's... Um, it's destroyed. So she she came Can't from this direction me. and hit it like this, right? Yeah. And grab me. Why can't I grab me? Yeah, I thought she was just hitting it straight on. Yeah. Yeah. So she's running this way, and then so it's going to go where into this wall, or you said we're saying trash over here. Should be this. Should be this wall. Right. Mm -hmm. That it makes perfect is. sense. It was on the park bench, mm -hmm. and she charged the park bench. So. Oh, I thought she was right on the destroyed. Oh, never mind. No, no, she My hit bad. the gun. She hit the gun. Gotcha. I was looking at the wrong target. Yeah. 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 So I can't, I can't grab myself, but I should end up near the wall. That's okay. So, um, I'm going to try grab to... Me. I'm going to um, take this Whoa. thing. She got locked. Who's locked? Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll move her. Somebody just pulled a cube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just have a... Uh... Let me... Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> so this... Okay. Uh... There's a it was... flyer there. <laughs> <laughs> you were locked so you didn't fall off the uh, cool. garbage yeah, thing. Yeah, gotcha. I'm having trouble getting that moved. Just a cool effect to have a fire in the trash. Yeah, it's a dumpster fire, all right. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's hey. cool. So the destroid has left a, a explosion of fire over there. Um, not the destroyed, the um, uh, gun. The gun. That's we'll that's a thingy. photo worth happening. Standing next to the flames of your destroyed. Okay, cool. Smile. <laughs> okay, so um, Exo's turn. Oh, I I free up the rest of you to go deal with that destroyed. Well, crap. <laughs> <laughs> that guy looks really bad, and it looks like. Um, so I did make a uh, a error. Uh, I had to when I made the attack. I had to switch multi power slots, so his invisibility would have had to turn off. So, oh. <clears throat> so I think at this point he's going to instead begin um, what he calls string walking. Where he turns on his desolidification, so it's not—he's no longer invisible, but he's no longer tangible. And I am going to uh, try to get his attention. I'm going to move to the middle of the street where he can maybe see me past uh, uh, past Max, and he's going to just jump up and down and hey, 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 and get ready to dodge. So. <laughs> So he's going to save half phase, preparing to do one of his dodges. But he is waving his arms and yelling, uh, so he he can be heard normally. He uh, he's just trying to become a target because he's desolidified. So he thinks that an attack will probably pass through him, but he's going to prepare to dodge anyway. Okay. So he's trying to draw the destroyed's attention. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I have held a half for you. Sandcrab still has okay. a hole held. Max, it is your turn. And just so you're aware, I am visible as well. When I started drawing in the energy, I became visible. Okay. Oh, before you go, um, I didn't roll it, but uh, Wild Thing, you would have had you know electrical oh. energy hitting you uh, when you okay. and it and it wouldn't have gotten through your rhino armor, but when you hit that thing, it it damaged you as well. Did you take okay. half from the move through as well? You need to take half that damage. Yep. That's a lot of damage, too. That's 14 body, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. It goes through my defenses? I don't know. I like like, what are your resistant defenses? Oh, no. Defenses? No, no, no. Didn't. What are your okay. resistant defenses? I don't, I didn't. Um, in Rhino, 20. Okay, so you're great. Golden. Just wanted you to, so obviously you hit the thing and you took the... The electrical damage from its force field or damage shield and, and the like. So, Max, it's your turn. I'm going to hold my phase as well. Okay. Left. Seeing what the destroid is doing, seeing as it's pretty obviously still desolid. Okay. So, we are going in uh, to segment three. I think it's going to force. No. Okay. Little rocket. It is yours at the top of three. Okay, uh, guys, you want me to get uh, what's his face and just get the flock out of here? Yes, do that. Came here okay. to rescue him. Because you think the destroyed is here for him? No, no I think us. the destroyed is here for us. <laughs> but could be here. For, I don't think it's here for. I don't think the destroyed's here for him. Wait. But that's what we came for. Or, it was wait, rocket. Okay. rocket. Listen to me. Be careful going in there. If they have defenses out here to stop anybody getting to him, there may be more inside. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you all did, um, and a lot of you all have perceptions to be able to see things like that. I know Sandcrab can see through the walls. I think you all have uh, energy, folks. There are not others inside the building. Or not. Not as far as you all can tell about that. Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's always good to be cautious. And she's extremely on that, in the cautious side. Little Rocket, what are you, what are you going to do? I'm going to um, run in and um, take him out. Not so, 
take him out. Like, <laughs> take him out of the building. Get well, him well, out. Just get, get him, him out. out. No one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I just uh, had flashbacks to the the Flubber movie with Robin Williams and the guy going. Give it to him. Squirt, 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 squirt. No, give it to him. Squirt. Anyway, so you're going you're gonna to head into the building? Yes. That's going to take uh, you a couple of uh, segments just because you're going to yeah. go through the doors. Half and you're gonna open go, doors, yeah. Yeah, up the stairs and run through. You're running blazing fast, but even to do that, you gotta, you're going to take some time to get to him. Yeah. Okay. All for a dinner and a movie? <laughs> Okay, yeah. so that'll be Little Rocket's turn. I'm just going to say um, in a is couple... Is the front door unlocked, or is it locked? Uh, that's a good point. Um, it would not be locked. Excuse me, it would not be unlocked at night. Um, so you're going to have to to kind of negotiate that. I'm not saying that you couldn't just burst through it, but it's going to take phases. Some casual strength might casual strength, do it. But... Yeah, I'll be doing it. Yeah, and I'm I'm not gonna press you on that. I'm just trying to say you can't get to him in a turn, you know, in a in a in a in a, yeah, in a single segment. That's fine. Yeah, no, I wasn't arguing it. Okay, but well, I mean, he could use that some disassembly or required just to disassemble the lock. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, Sandcrab, you have a held action to go uh, if you want to before the destroyed. Destroyed is still phased out, so he's still waiting. Okay, continue uh, so delay. Yeah, so the Destroid, um, though he is, um, you know, desolid, he uh, begins <coughs> to um, hover or fly. Jetpacks go off, and he flies up to the window and through the window of the third floor apartment. Oh. He has sufficient flight to do so. I'm going to lock him up there for now. And um, he flies and is, um, wild thing you would you would know it, um, sand crab woods, any of those that you all can see through things or even have spatial like you know awareness because of your abilities. He is standing in, um, in amidst Jasper, D-Solid. So he's inside Jasper while he's solid. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I missed something. Rocket, be careful. The destroyed has merged with Jasper. He's just standing in the same space as Jasper. Which means when they, he becomes solid, you. Yeah. Okay. Fun. Okay, um, XO and Max and Sandcrab, you all have held actions to go before. I'll take my action. Okay. Um, I will leap into the room from where he's at now. So you will bust through that window or bust through the brick or how will you? Yeah, I'll, I'll bust through the window. Okay. Right. Come on, figure, come back here. And I won't say you uh, have any damage of that, of course, not not given your character, but um, maybe uh, target the window to bust through yeah. it. Yeah, you got it. Well, I have accurate on my leap. Oh, okay, no worries, and just you you bust through. Okay. So Did that's you... a half move to leap into the room, mm -hmm. and then I will, with my stretching, um, grab. And move him out of the same space as the destroyed. Okay, um, so make a make a uh, uh, attack Tackle. roll to get to to actually grab the Jasper. Got it. That's a cool photo, GK. <laughs> it's like the destroyds are looking down on you all. <laughs> Uh, let's see. <sighs> My grab OCV is 14. I rolled a 9. Yeah, you grab him. Okay. Can you have Jasper? And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, when I grab him, 
I'm going to put them out. Th the, the window's broken in a large way, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. But I'm going to throw them out there. So I'm going to hang, put them out with my stretching where the destroy can't see them, but I'm just basically holding them out the window half out. And I'm going to say, somebody get this guy. I don't know uh, logically. I mean, so you broke through the window with half action, and with your other half action, you grabbed him. I don't think you could actually move him until your next action. So you I can do grab, a grab I, throw. I, but... I, I, I grab him, right? That means I'm controlling him, and I have stretching. So I can... But moving your stretching is an action as well. Moving my stretching is an action? Stretching is like a movement action. Yeah, I, I, I'm interpreting it as you stretched to grab him, so that was your other half action. Okay, so does that mean he's not he's still in the same space, or is he able to? Am I able to pull, pull him to me? Yeah, I think you're going to have to do that on your next action. You've got him, but you aren't able to move him. That would be to me three actions. So you could do a grab throw, but see, okay, grab no, throw is one it. action, right? That's fine. I don't need to do that. I'm good. Is there such a thing? I just don't know grab throw. I don't yeah, think grab throw. When that's yeah. one of the when you successfully grab, you can throw. What are the other things? There's Is things grab, you can do. squeeze, squeeze, throw. Yeah. But I just feel like that's a that takes another action after you've grabbed him. It, it doesn't. So if, if you, you want to and throw, it seems like you could throw him to the edge of your stretching or what you know up to that right. I could throw and him still, and still, him. And still be holding him. How still be holding him? I know yeah. No, 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 because stretching has a movement speed. Yes, it does have a movement speed, but that is not considered, it's, it's part of my movement, right? It does, I've never seen any limitations in combat for stretching. Well, so no, it just mean, adds hand-to-hand -hand Stretching has a in combat has multiplier. Hand -hand well, for me, no, the, it, it, the it's question, more than that. The, for, for me, the only question I'm trying to get answered for, for gameplay is, how many is is a grab throw a half phase action or a full phase action? Half phase action. I know a grab yeah. is a half phase action, but a grab. Yeah, and throw so when you grab, you get to throw. Yeah, you have the option of grab and hold, grab and throw, grab and damage. Yeah, I think it's all part of that one one grab. movement. Yeah. Right. Action. So yeah. you you just uh, used stretching to give grab um, distance range. Yeah. Correct. Okay. I'm fine with allowing a grab throw. Um, so you have broke through the window, grabbed the dude, and, and are basically making like a rolling throw him out. Well, I'm not going to throw, throw him out the window. We'll catch him. <laughs> him. Yeah, we, we will catch him. We'll catch him. Yeah. I've... I got him. Somebody will catch him. I'm sure somebody will catch him. <laughs> okay. What what exactly action um, are you doing on that? Are you gonna? Yeah, I'm gonna rely on my teammates to catch him. Okay. Cool. So, so... he'll put him out the window and go <laughs> hot to, hot potato, <laughs> right above the flames. Okay. Uh, XO has a held action. I do. So I am going to hey, uh, and, and, and... Hey, hold on, hold on. I want to use yeah. a uh, one of my one of my points <laughs> to. To uh, make retcon that as a uh, as a, uh, a coordination team thing that we practiced in the danger room. Oh, <laughs> and hot potato was the code word. Yeah, so hold, like hold, hold on, is this stress for that? Because I don't think you can do that in your actions. Uh, sure, I'll take a stress for it. What the hell? <laughs> Remembering all the times it didn't work, and this is the first time, <laughs> the first time live we're trying it. This one stress. Well, and and hot potato, hot potato rings out across all the comms. Yep. <laughs> all right. So I happen to have. Um, <clears throat> let's see. It is called. What is it called? It is. Uh, trained strength. Okay. So I, I get to use it, I get plus 40 strength to disarm, escape, grab, and throw. So I think if I position myself where he's at, I can grab him. Okay. Right? And that would be a, that'd be a catch, wouldn't you agree? Yep. That's, what, that's my thought. All right. So do I need to be like here to catch him? Where... Yeah, you're going to have to get... get um, All right. So unless... that's what I'm going to use. Yeah. Go ahead. Unless you have some quantum range to that grab strength nope nope okay. i need to be where he's at so i'm gonna run up here i have uh 
25 meters of running. So okay. I think this counts as a half almost. No, it, 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 close enough, and I'll grab him. Let's okay. See. Will you make a uh, attack roll to uh, target them in the grab? It's a 37 total, so I can go up to 20 half, almost 20 half, right? Okay. So you want me to do what? Make a grab? Yeah, make your grab attack. Okay. Grab. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That's got to be good. I snatch him right out of the air. How do I look up? That's all I want to do. I got him. I got him. I got him. Yep, I got him. Hot potato. Hot potato. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay. Just like we practiced. <laughs> Just like that one time. It never worked before. Okay, so you grab him. <laughs> he feels well, that's safe. Well, that's because and... we were using practice dummies. And... Oh. So, um, Exo, you would notice And, and you that... don't catch him like he's Gwen Stacy. <laughs> uh, Exo and, and uh, yeah. Sandcrab, you all would both notice as you grabbed him. He's just like chattering nonsense happiness. <laughs> Max, you have a held action as well. Do you want to take it or no? Where is uh, Sandcrab is outside that third story window, correct? Yeah, well, he's not outside it technically. He is. He's uh, in. Okay, he's inside yeah. of it. Yeah, you okay. could see him though, because he broke through it to throw the guy out. You can even probably see his like limbs having dropped him. So he's close enough that you can see him from the third floor. Okay, so he just dropped him, or did he throw him like with an arc? Well, Sand Crab, what'd you do? Uh, he held him off the window and dropped him. So that he would fall straight down, there'd be less risk of missing him. They can just be right below him to catch him. Yeah, but he's already been caught now. Okay. So I could alley oop him over to you if you want. No, that's fine. I was just going to throw up a force wall to, to catch him. If you... mm. Ooh, so... like a water slide. Shh. Yep. <laughs> Although I can't make one quite that long, I don't think. But, you know, enough. Um, it also just hover in midair, so. I'm talking those um, flames with the background of, of XO in them. That just looks like the coolest. <laughs> That's just awesome. <laughs> yeah, that is. <laughs> wow. I I am actually still going to hold my action because I really can't see what's... Actually, I'm going to make a half teleport move straight up. Mm. So 12 meters up or... At least try to get up to that level. floor level. You want me to yeah. rock you and move you up? Yeah, sure, that'd be fine. Yeah, I just want to get up to eye level. So I could go up to 12 meters straight up. I'm just trying to... that do it? Is that good enough for you? Yeah, that's perfect. Thank you. So that should give me line of sight within the building there. Uh, mm -hmm. The guy's out. Sandcrab is in there. Sandcrab has got another guy in front of him now. Uh, I'm going to, well, try to give Sandcrab a bit of, of time to figure out what he wants to do now. And I'm going to put a barrier between him and the destroyed. Okay. You put a barrier between Sand Crab and the Destroid? Yes. Okay. I think we're about you, to wrap, so um, I'm going to... Can you, not, can not you englobe the Destroid? I could. But it, I, I want to be able to give Sand Crab the option, if he really wants to, to attack it. Um, but I just want to buy Sand Crab some time to get away if that's his intention now. Okay, Ghost, it's your turn. There is a, a wall of electricity. Um, is it electricity between the two of you? Um, between Sand Crab and no, Asteroid? It's actually just like a big glass, blue glass. It kind of looks like my armor. So blue glass wall. Okay, I'm yeah. going to come up with an object for that. That's awesome. So Exo is uh, currently holding our uh, rescuee. 
Yes. And so obviously when I trained, when I switched to my trained strength, I had to turn off my desolidification. Okay. So that was part of my action too. Um, I just wanted to make sure that was out there. The ghost action will be to fly up to XO, uh, take hold of uh, our hostage. Or not our hostage. Our hostage. <laughs> what? Uh, wait a minute. No. And she is flying 35 meters straight down Chinatown section one. She's uh, getting out with the guy. Uh, she's going to be going non combat with him on her next phase. Okay, uh, XO, do you release? To... Oh, yeah, that's fine. Cool. Okay, so that's cool. You, Ghost, you are leaving. You're getting our. Yeah, really? Famous words. <laughs> Elvis has left the building. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, we are at the end. Now we are segment four. Uh, Sand Crab gets to go. And uh, huh. Jasper is is quickly leaving, so is Ghost. Ghost is now... Oops, sorry, I picked up the wrong person. I know he's dark-colored like Ghost is, but come on. <laughs> oh, fudge. Ghost is now way down here with the hostage. So I will say um, it's after our stop time. Um, we could okay. go a few more minutes to um, allow you all to deal with this destroyed if you'd like, or we can we can uh, wrap it with some narrative. How, how would you all like to finish this? I think we should wrap it with narrative because uh, mm -hmm. yeah, uh, t trying to take out this destroyed could take hours. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um, so uh, you get Jasper um, away, the and Sandcrab being so close the to and and as well uh, maximum resistance being able to see eye level, you can see that the yeah. destroyed is training its vision on Jasper um, and on ghost moving it away and it is basically saying you know um attempting to reconnect re attempting to lock on target attempting 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 it's trying ghost is moving fast and moving out and in and out um now, the wall i put up is um opaque it can't be seen through it's like a normal wall so did you put it uh, like parallel to the window so it, it can't yeah, well, see up yeah because that's probably what i would have had to see so, yeah, it would have cut him off from the window. Okay, so, um, but you all also wouldn't see the destroyed either. Um, Correct. Okay, so you all wouldn't see that. So it, it it's going to, like, bust through the wall, and I think it could uh, with its... Uh, with its uh, oh, most likely. With its uh, blasters. Um, and I assume that you all... Will does you it all just have... pass through the wall, or does it bust through the wall? Oh, true, yes, it's still desolid. So it, it, it phases through the wall... And is it is the whole same story. It is trying to reconnect, trying to lock on target, and it is flying afterward. Um, but Ghost is obviously flying faster with with uh, Jasper. Um, it will continue to try to follow, but it is slower, much slower. I think it only has twenty meters of, of flight. Yeah, Ghost can double her speed every phase. So. Yeah, I know. Obviously, not without hurting Jasper, but even still, you're you're still able to go faster than it. So it's going to try to follow you, um, and then I will ultimately. Blind it. Sorry, I would blind it. Okay, so you all Ooh. are gonna like kind of nuisance it until ultimately it, whomever is close enough to it, um, or even with the ability to say it will, it will get alternative instructions, and you all will hear, you know, downloading updated instructions from Doctor Destroyer. And then all of a sudden, the electrical field that was near it, it vanishes, and it, it vanishes as well. So it, it, like, it sparkles out in an electrical kind of dissipation. And the Alrighty. destroid basically gave up on trying to follow, um, but it's locked on. It, it, you know, obviously it captured images and saw and, you know, saw all of you all. So, um... It, it ultimately did not try to come back to you all. It took different instructions. Okay. okay. Cool. Any, uh, as we wrap up, questions or thoughts that you all have or things that you would want to clarify? Sort of uh, like our first encounter with uh, 
anything even close to, to Destroyer, right? Destroyer. That's right. Yeah. Unfortunately, Dr. Destroyer is now aware of our existence. Unfortunately. Um, I'm Hot going potato. to... Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do a quick uh, scan of Jasper's apartment. You know, running around looking and kind of memorizing as much as I can about it. Great. Um, to be able to... One, I'm looking for something that's kind of out of the ordinary. Uh, like maybe there's a, a one of the missing containers. Um, and if not that, then, you know, just see if I can do a quick uh, scan of it to try to come up with more clues. Nope, there are not any missing containers, uh, but we can do some offline kind of... Kind of uh, story around you know what you do see there and that kind of stuff but no missing containers for sure we might watch a right. laptop okay sand crab's gonna say i gotta get to base and get to the auto dock yeah go now yeah. you need help i think i can make it anybody else have any other actions they want to take in in one down we can do that in chat yes Yes. This is does, the, uh, does that does the lightning disappear from that spot in the street? Yes, it does. Does, it does. It does. I should. I should yeah. I was going to ask. I'm going to try to catalog that lightning as well. The energy that it's putting out. Great. Okay. Yeah. Please do a lot of this in chat. I had a blast. I hope you all had a blast today. This was loads of. It was fun. good. Thank you. I, I know Sandcrab had a blast. <laughs> yeah, I oh yeah. <laughs> Thank you for running. <laughs> of course, uh, three experience points. You all went up against destroids and gun drones from Destroyer. Uh, if you write journals and attach it to this, I'll get a, a placeholder out there so that you all can attach journals, get another extra point. Um, you can also write experience points from other perspectives. Um, I don't know. I think all of you all are. I would. I guess that would apply to people who weren't here today. But thank you all for playing. I hope you all have a great long weekend. It was lots of fun. Thank you all running. See everybody on Wednesday. Yeah, everybody. Uh, stay safe out there. Happy birthday. Thanks. Have a good one. Thanks. Thanks. And have a birthday. Yeah, happy birthday. Mm. It's a birthday boy.